Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda, Seat, BMW, Mini. Why am I throwing all these brands at you? Well, because they're examples of car manufacturers who sometimes take the same ingredients but come up with different products with different flavors. And that's the case with this, the Zika X. So what are the ingredients and what's the flavor? That's what we're going to find out today. So what exactly is a Zika X? Well, it's kind of an SUV, or maybe a hatchback or something in between, but it's got five doors and five seats and it's pure electric. Zika itself is a homegrown premium brand in the Geely empire, so the X shares a lot of its major parts with cars from brands like Polestar, Volvo and Smart. In fact, I'd say its closest competitor is the Smart Hashtag One, a car I really like. Same battery, same motors and kind of similar in size. You want numbers? The Zika X is 4432mm long, 1836mm wide, and 1566mm high. So it's just a little bit bigger than, say, a Volkswagen Golf. Although, like all good electric cars, it has a really long wheelbase for its size 2.75 meters. This is a Chinese. <laughs> This is a Chinese car, but it is actually a Swedish design. Zika has design studios all around the world, of course, and you would expect it to be a bit more minimalist. You can see that it's an electric car because it's relatively clean up front, but there is a lot going on with the front of this car. I mean, look, you've got this hood over here and the headlight as well. They're kind of crazy, so they're broken up into pieces here. So these are the daytime running lights. They double as the signal lights as well. They've got this kind of claw shape going on and the main headlights are down here. I really like that they've separated them. Then you have things like this air vent over here and it's fin over here. There really is a lot for the eye to look at. So over at the side, it's the same story. There's a lot to look at. Look at these really large extensions, for example. Lots of cars have them, but these kind of cut off over here in a bit of a mushroom shape. So when you look at the car, you're like, hmm, I've got something to think about. And have a look at these 19-inch wheels. I want to mention that because they are significant. There are two versions of the Zika X in the market. There is a dual motor, all-wheel drive, powerful one, and that has 19-inch wheels. If you see one with 18 inches, that means you're looking at the single motor, rear-wheel drive version. And I know what you're thinking, these aren't nearly big enough for a car like this. So if you want, you can have 20 inches. And why the hell not? And over the side, this car does look very chiseled, but also very busy. It's like they looked at the Zika X and thought, what can I do to make this car a little bit more crazy? So they've given it things like a black B pillar, a black roof, and then there's this line that starts at the front door and then travels all the way up to that pillar over there. So your line starts at the bottom and goes all the way to the sky. And this is an electric car, right? So it has to be very clean on the side. So if you're wondering about how the doors work, well, they actually disappear like that. Okay, I don't want to label the point, but look at how much is going on back here. I mean, some lines go down this way, some lines go up. So where's the eye supposed to go? And you've got all these different panels over here. And then you've got this tail light that cuts into the side of the car like a blade. That's kind of cool looking. Oh, I do want to point out that the charging port is here at the back of the car, where we like it in Singapore. And again at the back, so much going on, very chiseled appearance. And I think if you kind of know what you're looking at, you'll be able to recognize the Zika X very readily. And if you don't, you're gonna form some ideas about what this brand is all about. And they've really done a lot with the lights, for example. So if you unlock the car, you get this welcome show and just look at how much is going on over here. I think that's all deliberate because this is a new brand, remember. And when you're the new boy in town, you really have to do things that turn heads. So other ways this car tries to stand out, well, there's a whole bunch of them. Let me start by showing you something literally quite cool, and that's the fridge. I mean, it's not just any old, like, slightly cool fridge. There's actually ice cream inside here from the lovely people at Premium Automobile. Saving this for later. That also doubles as an oven, by the way, so you can set the temperature you want and you can keep things warm. So ice cream or hamburger or well, what would be more, chicken rice? Ice cream or chicken rice, up to you. There's also a light show that lets you blast music inside or outside the car and then you get all these crazy lights that go with the music. So both inside and outside the car, both the front and the back. So what you do is gather your friends and play the music, do the light show and your male friends will envy you and your female friends will fall for you. And like all good electric cars, the Zika X has a pet mode that lets people know the aircon is running if you have a furry friend inside. There's also a display on the B pillar, so basically no one's going to smash your windows trying to be a hero. And something I've never seen before, guys, this car has an external multimedia speaker. So if you want to troll people, you can do things like... Meow at them, or you want them to think you've got a Lamborghini, well, do that. 
not just the sound, I mean the display changes, it's all very amusing, but there is a more serious purpose to this because there's a bunch of preloaded messages that you can sort of send to pedestrians like You're welcome to go first, be careful. And it's all very polite, like after you, please be careful. And of course the real reason we want an external speaker, well you have to do it yourself, so just press this mic and you can say stuff like you know, my whip is a bit f For the interior, I'm gonna start at the back. Now remember, this is a sister car to the Smart Hashtag One, and that car is very spacious. Well, so is this. Look at how much legroom I have over here, guys. This car is quite a long wheelbase, and that's the reason why. It's not a very wide car, though, so three adults in the back might feel a bit pinched that way, but they can be as tall as you like because, you know, legroom. I will say, though, that it does feel different from the Smart. Now, the Smart feels very open and airy because of its design. For the Zika, you've got this line over here and things like that kind of minimize the amount of space or downplays the amount of space that you have. Look at the size of these front seats, for example. They're all very monolithic and they kind of block your view of the front of the car. So if you're sitting back here, you will have room, but you might not feel like it. Oh, something I should point out is there is a glass roof. It doesn't open and there's actually no shade that you can just roll back. Uh, Zika does have a snap-in thing that you can specify and that's half for the front, half for the back. The other main impression that you get when you sit back here though is quality. Okay, this isn't real leather, it's like some kind of polyurethane vegan leather, but it's actually very nice and soft. And the aesthetic is just lovely as well. It's all very nice and grey and there's that kind of Scandinavian minimalism I was expecting. And then you've got this metallic kind of gold kind of finish here, there and everywhere. And it just adds a very classy touch to the car. And let me show you something. Look, this armrest over here, it's got a little pull tab with Zika stitching at it. Really a lot of attention to detail and a really nice touch. If you think the back is nice guys, have a look at the front of the Zika X. Now here's where it gets properly Scandinavian. But first of all, in terms of layout, it's very typically electric car now. So that's 14.6 inches as a touchscreen. Honestly, I don't know if that's considered big anymore. You do get another 8.8 .8 inch screen in front of the driver. It's very sharp and very clear. Most of the major controls are here. I mean, maybe all of them. I don't see any buttons, do you? So to get to grips with all this, you're gonna have to learn a whole bunch of menus. I mean, it's gonna take time and I can see how this car would be a problem for people a little bit older than me. But maybe everyone my age and down is gonna just invest a bit of time and get to know their cars a little bit better. For example, it's set up like a smartphone. So you can call up a whole bunch of apps and basically operate them like you would a smartphone. But simple basic car stuff like the climate controls. Okay, you tap once and you tap again to set your fan speed, for example, and set your temperatures. That's okay, that's a permanent bar over here. So that's not too bad, but something that's uniquely annoying to electric cars to change the air vents and point them around, you actually have to tap and then use your finger to adjust them digitally. Okay, of course the result is that everything looks very nice in here. Now you can still carry a lot of crap around and keep it relatively neat. There is a space over here, maybe for a phone or something. And this cover over here, <laughs> cup holder, and I've actually been keeping a lot of crap underneath here, like my wallet, my other car keys and stuff like that. It's pretty neat, so yeah, you can actually keep it hidden away fairly well. I mentioned that this is a fridge, of course, so you're not gonna have much storage space there unless you wanna keep stuff that you can eat in there. And if you're wondering about this, well, this is actually a slot for for your phone and it does have wireless charging but there is a little bit of a foamy bit underneath that holds your phone in place so it doesn't rattle around and that's a really nice touch. But the most Swedish part of this car has to be the cabin ambiance. Again, it just looks and feels so nice in here. You've got all these muted colours. The materials are very, very nice. They're surprisingly premium for a car like this. And it looks like they've looked at the dashboard and thought, how can we subtract as many elements as possible and keep it as clean as possible? So the steering wheel controls, for example, are all very modern and clean looking. And then you've got things like, I don't know, you've got a data rate, you could probably hook it over here. You know, it, it just works really nicely and it looks nice as well. But my favorite thing has to be the ambient lighting. Now, lots of cars have ambient lighting, but look at this one over here. These are supposed to look like kind of LEDs frozen in ice and that's a really nice effect. And they are of course adjustable. You can choose whatever colors you like, and, but that's not the only thing. So I'm gonna settle on something quite soothing, let's say. And I can actually have it play along with the music and pulsate, or I can have it breathe. So it gently pulses on and off like the car is alive. And if you ask me, that's a very, very soothing setting. 
If this Zika X has a weakness, well, you are looking at it because this boot just isn't very big. It's 362 liters, and that's divided between this upper section here and space underneath this floor as well. And there is a frunk, and it is surprisingly large compared to the Smart Hashtag One, which has that tiny, tiny space up there. That's actually where the tire inflation kit lives, and above that, you can keep a surprising amount of stuff. But when it comes to this, well, I do wish for a bit more functionality that like you can't push these rear seats forward to create a bit more space so you can close the tailgate when you've got something bulky. You can't even put the seat backs a little bit more upright like you can in many hatchbacks. You can, of course, fold them and then you get 1,182 litres, which is quite a lot. But if you have to carry people and stuff, well, if your friends or relatives call you and say, can you come to IKEA with me or can you take me to the airport? You're going to have to say no. I drive a Zika X. Come to think of it, that's not really a drawback. Okay guys, this is an electric car, so I bet you're wondering about the range. Well, the Zika X has a 66 kilowatt hour battery, so it's not huge. And I'm currently driving the dual motor flagship model, and apparently that can go 420 kilometers on a single charge. There is a single motor rear wheel drive standard version, and that one can go a little bit further, 440 kilometers. But one thing to note is that this car does have an MCM battery, nickel, cobalt, manganese. So that's the kind that you don't want to charge to 100% all the time. And you definitely don't want to run it down to zero if you know what's good for the car. So I think effectively you're looking at a range of something like 200 kilometers at a time. And this is probably the kind of car that you're going to want to charge kind of as and when you get the chance, maybe a couple of times a week. Okay, this dual motor is fast. And uh, I'm on a 70 km an hour road right now. I'm doing 20, I'm just gonna pin it. And, okay, I'm gonna tell you when. <laughs> okay, I've hit the limit. I don't know how long that took, that felt like two seconds, but this car has 422 horsepower. So you get the instant response, but it also sustains it, whoa. So it ends up feeling like, almost like a four liter turbo V8, this car. I have to say, the single motor one wouldn't be slow either. That has 272 horsepower. This one gets from 0 to 100 in just 3.8 seconds. But the other one, I think, it's going to feel like a nice kind of 2 litre turbo. 0 to 100 on the standard model is 5.6 seconds. So it's a bit like a Golf GTI, I reckon, in terms of performance. But definitely going to be a more sort of plush car. This is a comfortable, comfortable car though. I mean, like any EV, it's quiet. Well, uh, actually, you know what? It's quieter than other EVs because with many electric cars, you don't hear the motor, but you can hear a bit of tire noise coming to the cabin, some wind noise as well, but not this car. And in fact, okay, there is one noisy thing about this car and that's the fridge. I mean, you can hear it purring away right, right next to you. And I actually turned it off because it was it's driving me a little bit crazy. Uh, it is by far the noisiest thing about this car. And then you've got all these bings and bongs, like it's telling me I'm driving in a distracted way because I'm talking to you, which is fair enough, I guess. Otherwise, it's, it's very soothing overall, and even the ride quality is actually quite good for an electric car. But there is a reason for that. The suspension is soft, like, especially at the back, like, it kind of squats a lot when I accelerate hard in this car, and the kind of, back kind of moves up and down quite a little bit, and... For some reason, you know, I don't mean to say that the road holding is bad on this car. It's actually absolutely fine in that department. And I never feel like I'm going to slide off the road. But, you know, because of all the way the body kind of moves around underneath me, I never feel like I'm super well stuck to the road either. And I think it's fair to say that for that reason, I actually prefer the single motor. I think that would be the better buy because this car has all the acceleration and performance of a 422 horsepower car, but it definitely doesn't have the handling of a 422 horsepower car. So I think it's two thumbs up for the Zika X, but I think my preference is actually for the single motor rear wheel drive standard version and not this dual motor flagship. Of course, you don't get the crazy acceleration that you get with this car, but if you buy that one, you've got a nice balance between performance and handling. This one is really, really fast, but it doesn't really handle like a sports car. But either way, you're gonna get so much performance, so much refinement, so many features. And I think the Zika X is a great reminder of why everyone's so excited about electric cars today. A car like this really makes it feel like they are the way forward. And don't forget, Zika itself is trying to establish itself as a premium brand. 
So it does have a very premium feeling car, but not quite at premium prices. As they say, Zika and you shall find her. And don't you just love it when she tries extra hard?